Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and if you're visiting for the first time, I'm Holly. Welcome, I'm happy to have you here. Today I'm sharing with you a very simple and easy recipe. It's an old one, but a good one. Uh, you may have made this before yourselves or have heard of this, but for those of you who have not, I wanted to share this because it was just too good not to. Uh, but it's simple ingredients. So the first thing you will need is one can of eight big biscuits. It can be any uh, brand, but I'm using the butter tasting one and it's the Grands, the Pillsbury. And a 20 ounce can of apple fruit filling, a third cup of packed brown sugar, three tablespoons of melted butter, a half a tablespoon of ground cinnamon, and a fourth of a teaspoon of apple pie spice. Now for the glaze, you will need two tablespoons of powdered sugar and just a splash of milk, and we're not gonna use all of that milk. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you how easy uh, this recipe is and very quick to put together. Now you will need a oven safe dish, and I'm using a cast iron skillet, um, and this is the perfect size for this. So you can use an oven safe dish if you have one, uh, but I think the skillet works really great if you, ha if you have that. Um, the first thing you will do is take the melted butter and I'm using my handy dandy little uh, silicone brush. I love this little brush, uh, but I just, you wanna just uh, brush that onto the pan. You wanna do that on the bottom and on the sides because uh, you don't want anything to stick to it. Uh, or burn so make sure you coat this really well but you want to use also the butter we're going to use that for the biscuits as well so don't use all of it uh, and three tablespoons worked out great uh, it was just enough but I just take the biscuits and I'm just putting butter on one side first and then you will just put that into your buttered pan and I already started uh, putting those in but just like I said, just put them in the pan, butter side down, and then you're going to take and do the same thing to the top of the biscuits and just put the rest of that butter on top. And I just brushed it on. And as I said before, three tablespoons was perfect amount for this. And now you're going to add the sugar. And I like to break that up just a little bit. It gets kind of hard when it sits out a little while. Um, but just break it up and then add the cinnamon and you will also add the apple pie spice and then you're just going to whisk that in you just want to make sure all of that is incorporated fully and once you have that done you're just going to take a third of it and put that to the side so just make sure you have a little bit on the side because we're going to add that to the top later but take what you have and just coat each of those biscuits with it. And I had just a tiny bit left that I didn't want to try to put on those. So I just put that to the side with the other uh, sugar. And while the apples are still in the can, just take a pair of kitchen shears and you want to just cut those to make them a little bit smaller. Uh, what that does is help to make the apples go a little bit further than adding them, you know, whole onto the biscuits. So it just kind of um, just makes it go further. So just add your apples to the top of each biscuit. And once you have that done, take the rest of that sugar and just put that on top. So just sprinkle it all the way around and I try to make sure every um, bit of that goes onto each of those biscuits. Try to evenly distribute it if you can. And then once you have that done, that's it. Uh, you will put this in a preheated oven on 375 and you will bake this for 35 to 45 minutes. But 35 minutes really was enough. I want to put it on a cool a cooling rack just let it cool for about 10 minutes before you add the glaze now I added the glaze and then I felt like I wanted a little bit more so I added two more tablespoons of the powdered sugar 
and then I just added a splash of that milk so I just added it until I got the consistency that I wanted which is a thick consistency but enough that you can drizzle it over top of this so once you have that mixed and it's smooth that's all you're going to do is just drizzle it over and you can add as little or as much of this as you want I just felt like the two tablespoons um, that I added first wasn't quite enough I wanted just a little bit more of that and if you want you can also add caramel um, like a caramel sauce to this as well that's totally up to you uh, but this was good just as is I really did enjoy this um, my husband and I it's a really nice little treat it's great with a cup of coffee it's great as a dessert um, but or even to have it for breakfast and it does give you the taste of an apple pie just without all the work uh, but really uh, a nice little treat to have especially for the fall time or any time but I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up if you're interested in seeing more like it please click that subscribe button and the notification bell that will notify you when I post new videos I hope everyone has a blessed day a great week ahead God bless y'all.